Did you know Wyatt Earp, the iconic figure of the Old West, was actually born in Monmouth, Illinois in 1848? Yes, you heard that right. Our legendary lawman didn't start his life in the dusty, lawless towns of the Wild West, but in the serene setting of the Midwest. This might seem surprising given the gunfights, saloons, and horseback chases that color his legacy. Young Wyatt spent his early years in Illinois, far from the frontier towns that he would later roam. His father, Nicholas Earp, was a farmer and a justice of the peace, perhaps planting the seeds of law enforcement in Wyatt from a young age. So, next time you picture Wyatt Earp, remember that the journey of this renowned gunfighter and lawman didn't begin in a saloon, a desert, or a gold mine, but in a small town in the Midwest. So our legendary lawman and gunfighter story actually begins in a small town in the Midwest. Wyatt Earp wasn't the only adventurous one in his family. The Earp family was no ordinary clan. Wyatt was one of five brothers, and each one had a story worth telling. Virgil, Morgan, Warren, and James, these were men who carved out their own paths in the Old West. They were lawmen, gamblers, and sometimes, just trying to survive in a wild and unpredictable era. Virgil and Morgan, for instance, stood shoulder to shoulder with Wyatt during the infamous gunfight at the OK Corral. James, the eldest, was a saloon keeper and a Civil War veteran. Warren, the youngest, was involved in several gunfights. They each played their part in shaping the narrative of the American frontier. Yet it's Wyatt who has captured the public's imagination, perhaps due to the legendary OK Corral gunfight. It seems bravery and adventure ran in the Earp family. From lawman to gambler, Wyatt Earp wore many hats. Known for his ironclad resolve as a lawman, Wyatt's life took an unexpected turn after he hung up his badge. Leaving behind the dusty roads of the frontier, he relocated to the icy wilderness of Alaska during the gold rush. Trading his role as a law enforcer, he dabbled in the business of pleasure and chance, operating saloons and gambling houses. But it wasn't just about running the show, Wyatt was known to try his luck at the card tables as well. His life was a vibrant tapestry of varied experiences, and his stint as a gambler adds another fascinating layer to his complex persona. Just as he had faced outlaws with steely determination, he embraced his new role with equal gusto, proving that he was not just a man of the law, but also a man of many talents and interests. His life was certainly not one-dimensional, was it? When you think of Wyatt Earp, you might picture him as the Sheriff of Tombstone, but that's not the case. In fact, the law enforcement badge in Tombstone was worn by his elder brother, Virgil Earp. Virgil was the one who held the position of town marshal, the principal keeper of order in the bustling silver mining town. Wyatt, on the other hand, held a federal position. He was a deputy U.S. Marshal, a role that extended beyond the jurisdiction of Tombstone and encompassed the entire Arizona Territory. His duties involved enforcing federal laws, which ranged from tracking down fugitives to protecting local judges. So, when the infamous gunfight at the OK Corral took place, Wyatt wasn't there as the town sheriff but as a deputy marshal supporting his brother. The Earps stood together, maintaining law and order in the face of chaos. So Wyatt was actually backing his brother up in the famous gunfight at the OK Corral. Wyatt Earp's connections extended to other legendary figures of the time. One such individual was the renowned lawman and gambler, Bat Masterson. Wyatt and Bat's paths crossed in the lawless territories of the West, where they both held roles as lawmen. Their friendship was forged in the crucible of frontier justice, surviving countless trials and tribulations. They were much more than mere acquaintances. They were lifelong friends, partners in law enforcement, and comrades in the wild escapades that defined the Old West. Together they navigated the tumultuous landscape of frontier towns, each encounter cementing their bond further. Whether it was a high-stakes poker game or a tense standoff with outlaws, Wyatt and Bat proved to be an indomitable team. Their shared experiences not only shaped their personal lives, but also left an indelible mark on the history of the American West. Wyatt and Bat, friends in law enforcement and in life. Wyatt Earp was not just a lawman and a gambler, but also a husband three times over. His journey of love began with his first wife, Eurilla Sutherland, whose life was tragically cut short due to typhoid fever. He then found companionship with Maddie Blaylock, a former prostitute with whom he shared many years. However, it was his third wife, Josephine Marcus, who became the most enduring partner of his life. Josephine was a lady of the stage, 
a well-known actress who brought a dash of glamour to Wyatt's adventurous life. Their relationship was a colorful mix of love, companionship, and shared thrill for the wild, untamed life of the West. They remained together until Wyatt's death, weathering the storms of life side by side. So, it seems Wyatt's personal life was as full of twists and turns as his professional one. Wyatt Earp, the lawman, gambler, and aspiring author. That's right. As the sun began to set on his adventurous life, Wyatt Earp turned his eyes towards literature. He sought to pen his autobiography, a tell-all tale of gunfights and gold rushes, law enforcement and love affairs. His inspiration? None other than Stuart Lake's biography, which remains one of our primary sources of information about Wyatt's life. Wyatt saw in Lake's work a chance to tell his own story, to shape his legacy in his own words. He wanted to capture the spirit of the Old West, the thrill of the gunfight, the lure of the open frontier, all through his own eyes. A chance to bring the larger-than-life tales of Wyatt Earp from the saloon to the study. Sadly, Wyatt never saw his own story in print during his lifetime. Following the infamous gunfight, Wyatt and his brothers embarked on a deadly mission known as the Vendetta Ride. This was no ordinary pursuit of justice, but a relentless quest for vengeance against those they believed had wronged their family. This darker chapter in the Earp Brothers saga unfolded in the chilling winter of 1881, when they set out to hunt down the members of the cowboy gang who had allegedly targeted their family. This was a departure from Wyatt's role as a lawman, revealing a more ruthless and vengeful side of him that history often overlooks. The Vendetta Ride was a grim reminder of the lawlessness of the Old West, where personal vendettas often took precedence over legal justice. It was a time and place where a man's gun often served as his judge, jury, and executioner. This was certainly a different side of Wyatt Earp. Wyatt Earp outlived many of his contemporaries, witnessing the transformation of the American West. Born in the mid-19th century, Earp's life spanned a period of remarkable change. He saw the Wild West, known for its lawlessness and rugged individualism, gradually evolve into a more ordered society. Earp, who was a lawman, a gambler, and a saloon owner, had a front row seat to these changes. His life journey was a mirror of the American West's own transformation. Earp lived to see the dawn of the 20th century, a time when the frontier had been tamed and the era of the Wild West was coming to an end. He lived long enough to see the advent of automobiles, the spread of electricity, and the rise of modern cities. Yet he remained a symbol of an era that had passed. Wyatt lived long enough to see the Wild West tame down. Wyatt Earp's legacy didn't end with his death. It continues in Hollywood. The legendary lawman's life has inspired numerous Hollywood movies and series, painting a vivid picture of the wild, untamed American West. From the black and white classics of the Golden Age to modern cinematic masterpieces, Wyatt Earp's character has been brought to life time and again. His tales of bravery, law enforcement, and gunfights have captured the imagination of audiences for decades, creating an enduring cultural image. Notably, the 1993 film Tombstone and the 1994 movie Wyatt Earp have given us unforgettable portrayals of this iconic figure. But it's not just about the gunfights and law enforcement. These films delve into the man behind the badge, exploring his personal life, his relationships, and his struggles. So while Wyatt Earp may no longer walk the dusty streets of the Wild West, his spirit and legacy continue to live and breathe in the heart of Hollywood. From the Wild West to Hollywood, Wyatt Earp's legacy lives on.